There you go. Thank you. You're going to love it. All right. There's so much enthusiasm for food trucks. It's really quite extraordinary. I'm Alan Smith, welcome to the show. You know, food on the go really isn't a new concept. It's actually been around for a while. You see, mobile kitchens in some form or another have existed for centuries. However, the modern food truck is thought to be a direct descendant of the original field kitchen of covered wagons that traveled the plains in the 1800s, affectionately called chuck wagons. These often travel as part of wagon trains, cattle herding trails, and other places where supplies might be scarce. So why don't we kick things off by actually going into a food truck and seeing what it takes to make it work. There's a lot more to it than you might think. And we're gonna do this courtesy of my friends here at the Wonder Bus. Uh, right, so... We have two entrees tonight, and things are never where they're supposed to be. Jacqueline, did you in August just like wake up one day and just say, we're gonna do a food truck? No. <laughs> My sister had a little girl and I had a little girl, and we were trying to find something that would allow us flexibility to work the hours that we wanted to work. And um, Jacqueline, my sister and co-partner, was well into food and I knew a little bit about mechanics and how to put things together. So we started the food truck and we decided it should be German. Um, coincidentally enough, she uh, is engaged to somebody from a German family. Hey cuties! We, we started conceiving of this idea and wanted to figure out a way to support local farms and support the families that we knew ran them. And, and you really do that. Your menu is it's, it's all the food, but it's also the farms from which the food derives. We try to yeah. give credit where credit is due. That's marvelous. <laughs> we bought that food truck as a naked bare chassis with a body. Um, and it was actually an ideal bread truck. Most of the items that we used, um, not every food truck is the same size, so we had to really scrounge and scavenge for small sinks, small desks, the right height. You'll notice that that window is above most people's heads, but if I were to get a lower cabinet, then I would probably be breaking my back all day long. And there's a lot of, um, intuition that goes into it. That window right there, for example, cost $150. If you were to actually go online and look for some food truck serving window, it costs you about $1,500. I just asked for a back door sliding glass to a patio with those dimensions, and it cost $150. So we were able to cut a few things there. The mobility of the food truck is absolutely a plus. Um, I think even when we get a brick and mortar restaurant, which is our goal, um, we want to show people that you can buy food locally and um, serve it on a large scale, a high volume. And I think that even after we had that restaurant, we'll probably have the food truck to go to certain events and cater and things like that. There's just too much love and work into it to sell it and get rid of it, but who knows. Mm -hmm. 